Oh no, what are you doing? Stop! <laughs> Welcome back everyone, my name is Gus and today I'm reviewing the Corrupted Dimension mod. Woo! So basically this is another dimension mod into implemented into Minecraft and it is a great little mod and uh, the best thing is it is still a work in progress yet there is so much things to do in it. Now let me just make the time day real quick and uh, let's get started. Now first off I want to go over the ores which are pretty important into the game because these are what allows you to create all these awesome items. Now first off the ore is uh, the ice bone ore. What I'm going to do is go into my normal natural mode and get my Myself some you know uh, some pickaxe oops I just let's see let's see let's see where my pickaxe is I'll get myself a diamond pickaxe cuz we're glassy like that and let's get ourselves some cake cuz uh, we deserve a cake why are these two cakes different like what's the difference between this cake okay I don't know that was weird anyways so here's the diamond pickaxe so the first thing is the ice bone oil and unfortunately the ice bone oil has no use currently so you know there's no point of breaking it I'll just let you you know frolic around right there the next one is the dead stone ore. now this one is fairly important um, you will be using it for multiple different things so let's just mine it up like so and there you go you do get these dead stone ore gems and then the next one is the corrupted ore now this is definitely the most important ore in this mod so without this ore you would not be able to function any of the other cooler things so this is the awesome uh, corrupted ore now this one is the final ore that I have seen so far and it is the corrupted quartz ore and this is mainly used for you know swords items and uh, pretty things such as this now these are all the pretty things now before we get into that I want to just show you guys that you guys can go ahead and you know cook yourself any of these items such as now I'm cooking the death stone gem uh, and you get the death stone oh which is pretty interesting so then you get the death stone ingot my bad my bad now then we'll just put this and let it cook but we already have some made right here these are the almas and miscellaneous I don't even know how to pronounce it and I didn't know how to spell it so that's how I spelled it <laughs> Anyways, so first off, I'm gonna go over all the things you can make with the dead stone ingots slash the ore. So these are all the items: the dead stone uh, pickaxe, axe, shovel, or spade, whatever you like to call it, and the hoe and the sword. These are all just swords and items that you guys can create. It's not really that important to have, but uh, you know, it's it's cool if you guys find it. There you go. You have a use for it. Um, the next one is the corrupted quartz. So it's the uh, the middle one, the one that I said was one of the most important ones. No, it wasn't. It was the pink one. I, I thought that was okay. Never mind. Okay, so this is the corrupted quartz. Oh, now with this you can't make uh, too many different things other than the same things you can make with the dead stone or. Or ingots now these are the corrupted quartz pickaxe axe um, shovel spade and oh sorry <laughs> axe uh, shovel and the hoe yes the hoe and um, other than that you can you know create these awesome looking pillars with that and which I'm going to show you very soon the next and the last one is a corrupted ore and this is one of the most important ones but um, not because of the swords and whatnot. Now I don't recommend you create the swords early on first off because uh, these are gonna be used and you will need a lot of these to create the portal to go into the next dimension so I do recommend you save up for the portal before you start creating all these items so it's just up to you you know that's just my personal preference I'm just gonna create get the swords just so you know I can I can see what's going on now I'm going to show you wait let's just do this now I'm going to show you how these are made and uh, it isn't really that hard now with the um, you know the corrupted or you can make these purple things and the quartz or you can make all these amazing pink uh, blocks and whatnot I'm just gonna go over them really quickly so this is the corrupt uh, a corrupted quartz block which is uh, right here you know I'm just gonna place it down why not so this is it and uh, you know it's not that hard to make let me just go into creative just so I can uh, 
do this and uh, here I'll show you guys how it's made it's very simple you just take the quartz uh, corrupted quartz ingots and just place them in a block to get the corrupted quartz block now for the chisel corrupted quartz which is probably my favorite it looks amazing it has this uh, cool little you know um, chiseledness into it it's all muscular and stuff. It's also pretty simple to make. Uh, you just grab it and uh, take the quartz block and you put in four. And you get four of the quartz so you don't really lose much. So if you have four of these, you get four of these, which is great. Now the pillars are very self-explanatory and you should know how it looks like. And that's pretty made very easily as well. So just put it like this and you get six so you do not lose any blocks either way. And finally the quartz fence which is made like so. Right, you just put it like that and you get it. Now, so far I've seen with the corrupted ingot, you can only make, uh, or the corrupted um, ore, you can only make these two items. I have not seen any other in the item inventory or the mod thread. So you can make the fence, which is like this, and you can make the stairs, which is made like this. Um, and that's basically it. There's not much else left for the items to say. Like, basically, that's what it looks like. This is... This is what it looks like. Do not mind the, you know, dark spots on the stairs. Yes, that is the stairs. It's just Sonic Shaders being derpy, derpy, derp, derp, herp. Herpes! Now, there is one final thing, or actually two final things you need to make for this complete mod to be completed. Wait, this mod isn't completed. It's only 10% in, so there's so much left to do. I can't wait. So this is the portal. This is made by the quartz or the corrupted ore, which is this. So you just take uh, the ingots and uh, you just put it in a 4x4 four four block. Uh, sorry, 9x9 nine nine block and you get the corrupted block. And then you just place them in a portal shape and you have to ignite it. You might think that you ignite it with uh, just, you know, any kind of flint and steel, but no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> oh my god, that makes me sound like a pedophile. You will need the corrupted portal igniter. Which is, which just looks cool. It looks like a banana on an ender pearl. And you just make it like this. It's fairly simple. It's not much, you know, there's not much to say there. And uh, look at that. You can make yourself these blocks, which is pretty funny. Uh, uh, it's hilarious. I, I don't know. It's saying lighting corrupted block. And you do this. And there you go. You get the corrupted dimension. And keep in mind, this is my first time coming in here. So it's... It's scary. It looks amazing so far, but uh, it's very bright. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, turn off my shaders because I guess we don't really need the shaders. There you go. It looks beautiful, actually. It looks very neat. And look at that. There's a pillar. I see a pillar. Let's go towards that pillar. Let's see what's up. What's up, boy? Homeboy, homeboy. Yeah, yeah. So as you guys can see, if you guys make the cool, you know, the corrupted, um, you know, portal, you guys can come here and collect more. Uh, corrupted items yourself and now what is in here this, is this just a block um, this oh I guess it's just a I guess it's just a tower that's that's all right that's kind of neat I don't know what oh that, that's clear that's crazy now in this mod there's not that many mobs there's only three that have been implemented let's go ahead and find them hence we are back with the mobs there are three different mobs the corrupter the corrupted god and the corrupted soldier now these guys are very strong so I do definitely recommend you be very careful Come here with a lot of equipment, uh, but I guess we don't need to spawn them. They're right there. So that is the Corrupted Soldier. And uh, basically has amazingly red eyes like Vladimir. Come lick me. Wait, if you're a girl, I will let you, but you're not a girl. Are you? Are you disguised as a man? Tell me the truth. So as you guys can see, he is a man that dresses neatly. He has beautiful dress and uh, he has blood or the soldier things. I don't know what's on his shoulder. I think that's just how it's supposed to look. I guess he's just corrupted in the head. Oh, he runs extremely fast and uh, be very careful. Like he's going to kill you in matter of seconds if you let him. And if you do kill him, he apparently drops deathstone swords and um, yeah, a lot of XP. Yeah, sometimes he also, yeah, he always drops a deathstone store sword apparently. Now let's go ahead and spawn the corrupted god. Now, you guys can probably hear it is very loud and, um, you know, it's a very annoying mob. It looks like a wither mixed up with a skeleton and a creeper. Now, if you do go into creative, which I am going to in a second, let me just get myself some armor if I can find some armor. Where are you? There you go. I want to I be prepared to fight you, my dear. So let's go into normal mode and okay, where the crab did he go? 
Oh yes, he also runs a lot faster than, you know, normal creepers and other mobs, but um, he's basically gonna shoot swords, I mean, <laughs> shoot um, arrows, and uh, they uh, they make a really cool sound effect, and uh, when you start hitting him, he makes a huge amount of noise, so, you know, yeah, that was melodramatic, I thought he was gonna make more noise, ah, whatever. Now I'm gonna go into creative because I'm a scared piece of shit and I don't want to fight the corruptor alone and as you guys can see that guy's freaking out he was trying to kill me but apparently I'm an awesome dude and I don't die that easily. So here is the corruptor. My god! Oh. Oh. When I zoom into you you're not even there. Oh whoa. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look at that. I like your face though. Look at those nipples. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me lick them like yeah, you don't. Oh yeah, oh, 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 well anyways, um, he is kind of glitchy, but, um, you know, this is the boss mob of this dimension, there's obviously gonna be a lot more added, hopefully it is not too loud, I'm just gonna turn it down teensy weensy bit, but, um, this guy apparently has an amazing, um, you know, dead am animation, whenever I look up he disappears, so maybe that's something the mod creator can work on, but, uh, he does have an amazing animation when he dies, and he drops a lot of stuff, apparently, now, as you guys can see, I can't hurt him, even though I am in creative, it's not hurting him one bit. The only way you can hurt him is with some sort of potion, and apparently potion of slowness is the only one that works. I don't know if potion of regeneration or the other potions work. So basically, you want to put slowness on him, and apparently I got myself hit with the slowness too. Now, you can hurt him, like so, and you can kill him, and apparently he has a shit ton of health, so I do say, you know... Be careful, he has a lot of health, he, he will like demolish you. Dying. Oh finally, that took forever. So then he starts freaking out like that and uh, that's how he dies. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh man, that was amazing. <sighs> man, my ovaries just exploded. I'm just telling you. That took a long time, but if you have enough, you know, of uh, the slowness, I think one potion should do it. Get yourself some diamond swords. I don't know how much damage this do sword does, but apparently it does a good amount. And as you guys can see, he gives you a shit ton of EXP. I was level 1, now I'm level 76. I got 10 diamonds, I got 24 corrupted ingots, 33 deathstone gem. And, uh, yeah, and apparently some other stuff, such as a diamond helmet and arrow, I don't know if I had that. Also, you get this item, which is the Corrupted Dimension Credits, and you can right-click on it, and it'll tell you all the credit for the mod, which is great. It's very neat. And, uh, one thing I want to do is see how easily he can kill you when you are not in creative mode. So, I guess if you are in, like, you know, if you're wearing armor, it doesn't do that much. But I hope you guys enjoyed the mod review, it was a lot of fun to review. And, uh, you know, if you guys liked it, be sure to hit that like button. And subscribe to my channel, if you guys did, it's at Pixelized Chaos, you know, that's awesome. Anyways, my name is Chaos, and this golem is humping my ass, and I will see all of you beautiful beasts later. Goodbye, beauties. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh okay, that's, that's weird. Are you a girl, Golem? Are you a girl? No, you're not. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. I I, I, I got tri tricked into picking up the soap. Oh no. Oh no.